Are you a love machine? I'm a love machine. You're a love machine. This video is yoga, but it's about being a love machine. So I hope you like it. Thanks for being here. Okay, everybody, let's start on our feet. I'm glad that you're here, and I hope that you think that you're a love machine, because I think that you are. Come to the back of your mat, and take your arms up towards the sky. We're gonna open up the heart as much as possible today. And lean back just slightly, and open and lift your chest, feel and breathe. And let's bend the knees, and bow the body forward and down. Drop your head. Inhale, flute the arms out and up, and let's come to standing. Arms reach towards the sky and come into that back bend again, lifting the heart up, pushing the feet down as hard as you can into the floor. Bend the knees, bow forward, and again, hands to the floor. Drop your head. Let's take a deep breath. Let's do one more. Open the arms out, push your way up to standing, reach the arms towards the sky, and come into that back bend, that feels good. Squeeze your buttocks. And then come forward, open the arms, bend the knees, and bow the body all the way down. Walk your hands forward, and lower the knees to the floor. I don't have my towel with me today to kneel on, but if you have a blanket or towel, you can use it to kneel on. Curl the toes under, bring your hands to your hips, circle the hips around in one direction. Let your jaw relax. Moving the body mindfully. Let's circle the opposite way. Take your time. Hello, cat. Ah, the cat that loves to destroy the yoga mat. No thank you. No thank you. Hold it steady. Let's Lift the heart here, pull the shoulders up and back, soften the jaw. Hands are still on the lower back. I'm sliding them across my back here and I'm pushing a very gentle push forward with the hands. Lift the heart up, breathe deeply. Now let's bring the hips back to center. Now take the arms out in front and gently rock forward and back. The toes are curled. So it's helping us to stay stable and not fall. It's also helping to protect the knees. Notice the breath, let it go in and out nice and deeply. Good, let's hold it steady. Reach your left arm up and back and let's grab that heel or maybe you have a block alongside the ankle. The right arm comes up towards the sky. We're gonna lift the heart up, take a deep breath in and squeeze the buttocks. Gaze to where the ceiling and the wall meet in front of you. Good. Right arm swings back and we're just gonna switch. Left arm up. Try and stay squared with the torso. Squeeze the buttocks. Open, lift your heart. Good, let's do that again. Swing the left arm down and the right arm comes up. Hand can connect with the heel or that block alongside the ankle. And let's do one more on the opposite side. Right hand back, left arm up. It's almost like you're doing a backstroke, but you're not at all. Good, both arms come up towards the sky. We're gonna inhale here. And exhale, bow the hands down to the floor, bow the body. And walk forward, come into a child's pose. The knees open big, the big toes touch. And we sit the hips back, the arms come forward, and we bow the body forward and down. And just rest your head. And take a deep breath in. Lift your head forward and let's rock the hips forward and down. Your feet open out behind you as your hips come forward and down. We're pushing the floor here. And then we're gonna come back with the hips, bring the feet together, back into child's pose, and bow the body. 
Let's make this an inhale and bring the hips forward, open the feet, hips down, and make this an exhale. Good, come back, feet come together, bowing in child's pose, inhale. Exhale forward with the hips, feet open, hips sink, heart forward, exhale. Feel that front body open up. Keep pushing really strongly with your hands, fingertips. And let's come back one more time into your child's pose and just stay there. Bow your head. Notice, breathe and feel. Mm -mm -mm. Let go of something that you're holding. Good. Look forward with your head. Bring your hips up into a table position. Walk the hands in so that we're shoulder width. And you're gonna curl your toes under. Bring your right leg straight out behind from the hip in the air. The knee comes under, we round the back. Try and touch the nose with the right knee. Inhale, extending. Exhale, under. Good, inhale, extend. Exhale, under. Inhale, extend. Good, let's come into a pigeon with this right knee forward towards the right wrist, the foot over towards the left side here. And we're gonna inchworm this left leg as long as we can get it back behind. Hands under shoulders. Keep your left toes curled under and work on that leg getting a little bit longer. Press your heart forward. And maybe look over the right shoulder, see if you can see your left foot. Mm, breathing deeply into this love machine that you are. Just a love machine. Good. Turn your head back to center. Let's rock over to this right hip and reach back with the left hand, grab that foot and hug that heel towards the buttocks. So your right hand is helping you to stay stable. The heart is opening, the jaw is relaxed. We're having an animal fest in here today. Now, if you have a yoga strap, you can always wrap it around this ankle instead of using your hand. Squaring your hips to face forward is gonna make this more intense on the left quad. So you do what feels good for you. You can also sit your right hip on top of a blanket or a block and see if that helps you feel more centered, able to relax. It helps when we're able to relax in these more intense postures helps us to open. Let's relax this left leg down to the ground and then we're gonna bow the body forward and down. We're resting the head on stacked fists, maybe a block. Try to keep your hips squared. You'll know if your <clears throat> left pinky toe is not touching the floor or if the top of the foot is not squared, that left foot, and touching the floor, then you might wanna check on your hips. And try to breathe here deeply. Let go of a sigh. <sighs> Good, lift your head, walk your hands back in. We're gonna do something a little fun and crazy. The right hand comes under. We're gonna grab the right foot or toe, big toe. And you're gonna lay down onto your right shoulder, which comes in front of this right knee here. And once you do that, you're gonna then open up onto your back and open your left arm out to a T position. For me, I have a wall, a little challenging, but that's okay. I'm gonna pretend. So try to shift so that you're on your back as much as possible. Your left hip is pressing down towards the ground. And then breathe really deeply into this whole left side. So we feel the side body, the front body. Everything's opening up. 
because you're a love machine. <sighs> Deep breaths. Try to relax and let something go here. Roll the body gently, gently over towards that right side again, or left side of your mat, I should say. Rolling all the way over, and your, this right knee is gonna come back into pigeon. So it's a little bit of finagling, but once you do it, you do it, and it feels fine, right? Hands on your shoulders. We're gonna curl the left toes. Lift, give a good push with your hands. Lift, and slide this right knee under. So now we're in table again and hands on your shoulders. Hello, Maisie, hello. Take your left leg straight out behind you in the air, and let's bring that knee under around the back. Try and touch the nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, under, around the back. Inhale, extend. Let's do a couple more. Exhale, under. Good, one more time, extend the leg. Beautiful, and then come into pigeon with this left knee forward towards the left wrist and the foot over towards the right. Your right leg is your inchworm leg, right? So we're inchworming longer, as long as you can. And then we're gonna relax. Actually, keep, them, keep the toes curled on that back foot. Hands walk in, find a little rocking, and let's look over this left shoulder at the right foot. Is that doable or not? Good. Maybe a smile comes on your face because you're a love machine. Mm -hmm. Let's turn the body back to center and you're gonna lean a little bit to the left. Hug the right heel in. It's easy to overdo it and hurt the hamstring on this right leg. So be very careful and let your hand reach back just as much as the heel hugs in. Don't overuse the hamstring. And let's hug in. Heel towards buttocks, heart is open, jaw relaxed, breath is deep, and only if it feels okay, you can try and square your hips here. And you can always sit your left hip on a block or a blanket, towel if that helps you out. Lots of deep breathing here, soften the jaw. The cat and the dog are trying to figure out if they should play with each other or something else, I'm not sure. They're just checking each other out. Relax your back leg and let's turn to face forward. Now try and square the hips facing the front wall. Square your back leg, so roll it so that the top is down, top of the foot relaxes, and let's come forward resting this pigeon. Now you're stacking your fists, or you're stacking your hands, or you're using a block. Or maybe your head's on the floor. However you can get your neck to relax. Try to let that happen. Good, send some nice deep breaths in through the nose, expand belly, ribs, and chest really wide. Let go of a sigh. <sighs> and lift your gaze forward. Walk your hands in. So we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Your left arm comes underneath this right arm and we grab the big toe or the foot on the outside. We lower down onto this left shoulder. I'm gonna turn around so you can see if you're feeling confused at all. So you're gonna lay down onto this left shoulder. It's in front of the leg, rolling the body open and laying as flat as you can on your back. The right arm out to a T position. Or if you're up against a wall like I am, maybe send the arm straight back. And try to press the right hip down. Good. 
it's quite a good stretch. You can also use a men's tie, a towel, or a yoga strap around that foot instead of the hand holding it. Keep breathing. Jaw relaxed. Gently roll yourself over towards that left leg, towards the right side of your mat, and back into a pigeon position with your knee. And then give yourself a good push, slide that left knee underneath the body. Take a deep breath in, and let's walk back. Hands to legs, lift knees, and come into a forward bend. Drop your head. It's sock weather. I don't know where you are in the world, but here it is sock weather. We're gonna wag the hips, sway the hips from side to side. And just allow your head to hang. Let the jaw relax and breathe a little deeper. Hold, pull the belly up and over your thighs, drop your head down. Let's shake the head no. And then yes. So we want the head to be as heavy as possible. <sighs> Good. Bend your knees deeply. You can walk your feet a little closer than hip width. Wrap your arms around the backs of your legs. Grab onto either elbow. And once you get a good hold of the elbows, you're gonna straighten the legs and bow your body. And breathe. And then you're gonna bend the knees deeply. Now if that is a lot for you, you're gonna walk the feet a little closer together, okay? If you're not getting enough of a stretch, you're gonna walk the feet a little apart a little bit more, more, more apart. Walk your hands a farther across the arms to grab the elbows a little bit more, and then straighten the legs again, drop your head. Feel your face relaxing. Breathe into the belly, the ribs, the chest, expand, expand your body. Knees bending, hands come down to the front. And we're gonna walk the hands slowly up the legs and come to standing. Open up your heart. Let your feet stand hip width distance. Bring your left hand to your hip, the right arm up. Inhale, long, tilt to the left. Smile. What do you have to smile about today? Think about those things. What do you have to smile about? Good. Lift the body back to center. Keep the right arm there lifted, but fold the elbow, bring the hand behind the back. Perfect. Left hand around this right elbow. We're gonna push the right hand down the back more. Push down with the, the feet into the floor and grow the body tall. As you breathe in and out, soften the belly. Expand the ribs. Soften the jaw. Good, if you have a yoga strap or a men's tie you can, or a towel, you can connect your right hand on your back with your left arm coming down, back of the hand sliding up the back, and try to connect those hands together or use a strap to connect them. Then you're gonna bend the knees, take a deep breath in, and bow the body with a flat back. This is gonna intensify the stretch on that left shoulder. If you're feeling good, you can straighten the legs Bow a little bit deeper. <sighs> Soften. 
soften, breathe, feel. The knees bend deeply. We're gonna push the floor. We're gonna lift the head and come on up to standing. Excellent. Float that right arm up towards the sky, the hand to the hip, and take the left arm straight up towards the sky. Moving the body slowly and mindfully, let's tilt to the right. Feel the left side of the body get a beautiful stretch. Knees are a little bit bent. We're pressing evenly into the feet, soften the face. Long, deep breathing. Good, bring the hips to center. That left arm is reaching up. And now we're gonna bring that hand behind the head. Elbow is bending. The right arm reaches up and grabs hold of the left elbow, just around the elbow. And then we're gonna push that left hand down the back. Little tiny bend in those knees. We're pushing the ground away, growing the body tall. Good, is the shoulder different for you? What about the neck on this side? What's happening in there? Good, the right arm reaches down behind the back, the palm faces out. Try and grab those hands together, clasping the fingers, or use something to connect them perhaps. Bend the knees, take a breath, and let's bow with a flat back. See how far down it feels comfortable to go and then straighten the legs when you're down there, if that feels okay. The knees bend, we're gonna lift the head, push the feet into the floor, come on up to standing. Take your time, releasing both arms and reach up towards the sky. Inhale deeply, good. Arms down and then behind the back. Let's interlace the fingers there. So we have whatever the natural hold is for your hands, press the knuckles down and squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other on the back. Lift the arms off the back and circle around in one direction. If you have shoulder issues or tightness, this will help you, especially opening up the front body because it's all attached. Let's circle the opposite direction. And hold it, let's press the knuckles down, squeeze the shoulder blades, little bend in the knees, lift your heart up towards the sky and squeeze the shoulder blades more. Now the knees have a micro bend, it's, you could hardly see them. And we're gonna lean back a little bit more, squeeze the buttocks and see how far back bending we can go, but lift your heart up towards the sky. Bring your body gently back to center. Keep your hands the way that they are, shift to the left foot. Take your right leg straight out behind you, toppling the body forward halfway. So we have a flat back. This right leg is straight out behind. We're reaching the knuckles away. We're squeezing the shoulder blades towards each other and we're breathing. The hips are squared facing the earth as much as you can. Let's stand that right leg down, body tall. Breathe in. Let's do that back bend again. We lean back, we squeeze the buttocks, we lift the heart up towards the sky. and the body comes up to center, we inhale. <sighs> right foot holds the weight and the left leg lifts out behind. We tilt the body halfway forward, reaching those knuckles away, squaring the hips, facing the earth. Keep the neck long, gaze down at the floor.
Good, step that left leg down alongside the right, release the arms, and let's shake them out. Shake out the shoulders, the arms, breathe deeply, and bring the hands together into prayer. Good, shift into tree posture, the right foot comes up. When you think of trees, do you think of love? They're quite giving beings. Float the arms up towards the sky. Drop the shoulders down. Stare at your dristi, this focal point that we have in front of us that's not moving. Stare at that. Let it help you balance breathing. Lower the arms. Shift to the other leg. Hands in prayer. Let's start there. Left foot is up. We inhale deeply. The right knee has a little micro bend and the arms can reach up towards the sky. Drop the shoulders down. Ooh, lengthen up through the crown of the head. Are you in this moment with me? Stay here in this moment. Breathing. One breath in, one breath out. Good, lower the left leg down. Float the arms open, swan dive forward and down, all the way to the ground. So here you have your forward bend and we are bowing the head. Mm -mm -mm. Knees bending. Let's bring the knees to the ground and sit ourselves down into a comfortable seated position. Ah, so, hands in prayer. How can you be more of a love machine today? How can I be more of a love machine today? Keeping the focus on ourselves, how can I be more of a love machine today? I hope you have an amazing day and thanks for being here. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Any help with anything, let me know. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.